Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. This slow cooker pot roast recipe ends up being the best pot roast I have ever made. I wanna take you along with me today and show you how I did it. The full written recipe will be down below. It's early, first we need a sip of coffee. Delicious. This is a chuck roast that was gifted to me from a homegrown, locally raised cow. And I would say it's about three pounds. It's absolutely beautiful. We are going to just first get it seasoned up and ready for the slow cooker. I am using a variety of seasonings today. I have salt, pepper. I'm using my Korean red chili powder, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of cumin, garlic powder and onion powder. I will link this full written recipe down below in the description box with the exact quantities. I'm just going to set this aside while we move on to the next step, and that'll give this seasoning a chance to penetrate the meat a little bit. I've just roughly chopped up some carrots, celery, and onion, and we are going to saute that for a little bit. It's Saturday. I love doing these kinds of meals on the weekend because I feel like I can just take my time in the morning, drink my coffee, enjoy my quiet time in the kitchen, and then dinner is basically done once I get it prepped and into the crock pot and I feel like I can just enjoy my weekend, whether that be relax or just get other things done and not have to worry about dinner. The crock pot is a great weeknight tool, of course, but it's great for the weekend too. Okay, let's get all the vegetables in there. I'm just going to serve my simple salad, my what I call my weeknight go-to salad. I can link it down below. It's super simple, but super fresh, and it goes great with a recipe like this. A little salt. A little pepper. I'm just sauteing these for about five minutes. Just to get a little color and get some infusion of flavors. You could skip this step, but I think it's important. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I'm going to cut the heat and toss in six cloves of garlic. I wish you guys could smell this. Now I'm just going to transfer this and this will be the bottom bed of the crock pot that our pot roast is going to sit on. In the same pan, I'm going to add a little more oil. And we are going to sear our chuck roast for about two minutes on each side. That's what you're looking for. Now I'm just getting the chuck roast into the crock pot. Okay. 
Next, we are going to use the flavor and all these beautiful bits in this pan to whip up a quick sauce for the pot roast. I don't have a silicone whisk, so don't judge. I'm adding in some flour. I'm using equal parts flour and butter. After about one minute, I'm going in with some wine. I don't have red wine, so I'm just using some cooking wine that I have on hand. And then to this, I'm adding chicken broth. Once this thickens up, we have a couple more ingredients. Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar. The recipe I am following comes from cooking with Claudia and it calls for tomato paste. I don't have that, so don't judge, but I'm just going to use a little bit of ketchup. It's early, but I want to give this a little taste test and see what we think. It's hot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really, really good. It's perfect. I am going to cook this on low for eight to 10 hours and we will be back to give it a taste test. Friends, this pot roast was by far the best I've ever made. I wanna make sure I give you guys the exact ingredients that I used and one of them was the cooking wine. Let me show you. And like I said, I will include the full written recipe down below. I served this over white rice, actually jasmine rice. This is so delicious, so comforting. It's a perfect meal for fall. I highly, highly recommend this recipe. I give this an absolute 10 out of 10. I just wanna say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.